Hello, beautifuls. My name is Quavier, and I'm the creator of Juju Time. Today, December 21st, is day one of Ivy the Occultist Yule Challenge. And for today, I'm sharing my winter solstice ritual and tradition um, in more of a chill vibe kind of way. For me, the winter solstice as a hoodoo practitioner who is very much nature and conjure based is a time that marks the start of a new season. This season is the season of darkness, stillness, rest, death, preserving and healing. So I like to start this time with a clearing and cleansing of my doorways and floors. What you are seeing now is the very end of my ritual where I like to end it at my front door. I start my ritual by facing east and I say um, a prayer to the Divine Dark Cosmic Mother three times. Basically, this prayer is a prayer that acknowledges the Divine Dark Cosmic Mother as source and it acknowledges my connection to them. I then face south and I say a prayer to my protectors three times. This prayer um, is a prayer that acknowledges the protectors in my life and their ever-present company. I then face west and I say a prayer to my ancestors three times. This prayer, I would say, is basically a prayer that acknowledges that I am an extension of them and for them to be at peace, I will continue their work of healing and liberation. Lastly, I face north and I say a prayer to death three times and this prayer is a prayer that acknowledges and accepts the fact that I will one day meet death and until then I will continue to prepare my soul for them for that moment. I then face east once again and this time I say a prayer that calls back reclaims and revokes my energy back to me uh, from places where I may have left it um, or wherever it may have been taken, whether intentionally or accidentally. Hudu is very much a practice that emphasizes cleaning and cleanliness. Other than using prayer as a way of clearing, I also love to use my herbs and making my own smoke incense blends. I definitely choose my herbs beforehand so I know exactly what I'm needing them to do and how we'll be working together. I will say that I love starting off with camphor. Also in front of me, I didn't mention, um, I have a small bowl that is filled with water and I also have certain herbs that are in it, uh, such as wormwood. This bowl of water and herbs is a spiritual wash that has an intention on it. The purpose for me when I use spiritual washes is to aid in clearing protecting um, or 
physical and spiritual cleanliness. I used that spiritual wash to clean my floors and entryways throughout the day, but then uh, finally I finish off the cleaning portion of my ritual by um, remaking it, of course, and washing my front door. Once the door has been cleaned and cleansed, um, I then begin other processes such as feeding my mojo bag that also has various things in it. And then I do some candle magic where I burn three candles one at a time and each candle has a prayer over it. Um, a prayer to exercise my space, um, protect my space and me, and also invoke certain spirits to reside here. I then complete the ritual by facing east towards the Divine Dark Cosmic Mother. Then south towards my protectors. Then west towards my ancestors. then north um, towards death, moving the energy with me and reciting the same prayers. The winter solstice for me isn't the day to manifest or bring in anything. It's a day that I can honor and respect the darkness that is necessary for all things to grow and heal. It's a time I recognize what needs to be let go of out of my life um, or exercised out of my life and space. It's a day that I focus on my spiritual hygiene so I can properly prepare myself and my space for the manifestation ritual I will do later. It's important for me to prepare myself and space to be able to hold and maintain the blessings that are to come. Thank you beautifuls for being here with me. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the chill vibes. Until the next one, truth and love. <laughs>